the composer, conductor, pianist, and educator Leonard Bernstein. By the age of 40, not only was Bernstein music director of the New York Philharmonic, he had already written concert hall gems like the Jeremiah Symphony and the Age of Anxiety, and masterpieces for the Broadway stage, like On the Town, Candide, and of course, West Side Story. In 1965, Bernstein decided to take a year off from his duties at the New York Phil, in part to write a new musical based on The Skin of Our Teeth, a Pulitzer Prize winning play by Thornton Wilder of Our Town fame. That musical, unfortunately, never panned out, but Bernstein was able to reappropriate some of the music he had written for it into the piece he ended up writing during this sabbatical instead, the piece we're about to play for you, the Chichester Psalms. Now, the Psalms are in three movements for chorus, boy soprano, and orchestra, and are sung completely in Hebrew, a logical choice for the child of Jewish immigrants. Before we begin, as I mentioned, since this is a work for chorus and orchestra, may I ask you to please give a warm welcome to our very own Colorado Symphony Chorus. Let's look just briefly at some of the songs originally intended for the skin of our teeth that eventually found their way into Chichester Psalms. There was a chorale from Skin called Save the World Today, which sounded like this. When the skin of our teeth never happened, Bernstein took that melody and refashioned it into the majestic, energetic opening of the Chichester Psalms. Instead of save the world today, the words are now the Hebrew translation of Psalm 108. Awake, psaltery and harp, I will rouse the dawn. This goes directly into a song from Skin called Here Comes the Sun, not to be confused with the late, great George Harrison song, which came out four years later, I hasten to add. So we know what happens next. Bernstein takes Here Comes the Sun and turns it into Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. It's joyous, boisterous, light, charming, a little jazzy, and in a lopsided meter of 7-4. In other words, distinctly Bernstein and distinctly American.
the second movement of Chichester begins with a setting of Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The movement begins with our absolutely extraordinary boy soprano, Owen Wolfinger, essentially playing the role of the psalmist David as a young boy singing the psalm while accompanying himself at the harp, which is why we've positioned him over by the harps. Just wait till you experience this moment. There's nothing quite like it. But Psalm 23, the one you'll hear tonight, began its life as a beautiful song from the skin of our teeth called Spring Will Come Again. The dean of Chichester Cathedral, who commissioned the Chichester Psalms, asked Bernstein, perhaps not surprisingly, if he wouldn't mind including a touch of West Side Story in the piece. <laughs> As it turned out, Bernstein was actually happy to oblige, and he included a little section of a song that had been cut from the first act of West Side Story, which was called Mix. Now, this was originally going to be sung by the Jets, but instead, it became the basis for the fast section of the second movement of Chichester, which is a setting of Psalm 2, Why Do the Nations Rage? The section begins with the men shouting, La, Ma, or Why, in Hebrew. Bernstein closes the second movement by combining those two different musics we just heard, that gorgeous The Lord is My Shepherd, originally known as Spring Will Come Again, and that ferocious Why Do the Nations Rage, originally known as Mix. The finale begins with an extended prelude almost exclusively for the strings alone, mostly based on that Save the World Today melody we heard at the very beginning of the piece. The main part of the movement, which began its life as a song from Skin called War Duet, has been transformed into a peacefully flowing setting of Psalm 131. Adonai, Adonai, Lord, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty. Understand, none of this is 
some kind of attempt to expose Bernstein as a shameless thief. I mean, he wrote the material. He could obviously use it however he wanted. Our point in showing these cross-relationships between the Bernstein of Broadway and the Bernstein of the concert hall is to show how thoroughly the sounds and language of musical theater, a distinctly American genre, if ever there was one, how thoroughly these sounds were incorporated into concert music. Breaking news, folks, it's all music. And no matter how you slice it, it's fantastic. We hope you enjoy Leonard Bernstein's Chichester Songs. <laughs> 